Hello everybody and welcome to another great episode of Hillbilly Wine 101. And tonight I'm drinking some summertime classic. I'm drinking a Riesling, okay, Lighthouse series. Nice and chilled like it's supposed to be. Look at that bottle. It's got a beautiful painting of a lighthouse. And then the back, you can see through to the painting. Um, a medium bodied, well balanced white wine which has been selected for its crisp character. All right. It is ideal for drinking with cold meat, salads, and seafood, or taken as an aperitif, aperitif, you know, before dinner, or after dinner, or with no dinner, or with spicy food, because um, Riesling's go well with spicy food, because the sweetness uh, helps tone down the heat, or salty food, same thing. Uh, this little baby is 10% uh, alcohol by volume, ABV, um, and uh, it is uh, from Mosul, Germany, uh, Moselland uh, Winery, and Rieslings tend to be on the sweet side, but if you will, they're a classy sweet. If you like sweet wines, and you want to serve them or bring them somewhere, um, and you want a wine that's made cheaply or, or has sugar introduced into it or uh, you want a quality wine that's sweet you cannot go wrong with a Riesling especially a German Riesling they've been working on this for hundreds of years um, it's their signature grape another good one from Germany is Gewürztraminer which is also sweet and uh, classy sweet if you will and a little more spicy so uh, it's a nice looking bottle and we're gonna open it it's got a nice clear um, kind of a frosted bottle but it's got a nice uh, clear cap on it and with a cork you can see right through it read some numbers and things on it so let's get this open and um, and drink it taste it and see if this is one that you want to drink sip by yourself or with your um, cold cuts picnic food or just sip on a nice hot drink or on a cold day in front of a fire. There's a lot of reasons why you might want to drink this Riesling. So let's make sure it's not got a bad petroleum taste, which a uh, plasticky taste, which some Rieslings have sometimes. All right, so uh, the cork uh, is real. Um, no, wait a minute. Yes, it's a real cork, and uh, it's a short little devil, and has some writing on it, so forth and so on. Now, this won't age too long, but the sweetness is one of the things that uh, the sugar will uh, help preserve a wine. So will the alcohol content. This has a low alcohol content, but it has high sugar. So, while I was talking, uh, I accidentally poured a lot, but that's okay. So it's got a nice lemony color to it. Can you see it? Um, it's warm out, and the cold wine is putting a little, uh, a little bit of, uh, what, condensation on my glass, which is all right with me. So, let's see what we're gonna, what we're gonna get out of this. Um, I don't have the price, do I? Ah, no. But it, well, it's not real expensive. I wouldn't throw it out here without telling you if it was real expensive because that's a special segment. Uh, this is for every day, everybody to drink it and enjoy it price-wise, right? But still quality. I think. I'm going to taste it. Mmm. A lot of times I knew I was going to get it. Um, it's very floral. Um, honeysuckle. Because honeysuckle is very sweet. And if you ever... I have, if you ever eaten one, uh, suck the uh, nectar out of it, honestly. Uh, I used to do it all the time. <laughs> it's real sweet and it's good, and that's what this smells like. Uh, a beautiful honeysuckle flower. Mmm, just that honey and that flower. It's a really ripe pear. I can see where someone might get uh, the white fruits, uh, peaches, pear. Um, some uh, apple, but uh, mm. yeah, but not a sour apple. So anyway, uh, very nice, pleasant. Let's give it a taste. Mm. It's got a nice um, acidity, which uh, makes uh, makes it taste uh, makes it refreshing, like lemonade. It's got a lemony taste to it. It's got a sweetness, but at 10% ABV, I thought it was going to be a lot sweeter. It's not. Um, 
if you're used to dry red wines, this is going to taste real sweet to you, but it's not really sweet, but it's not um, uh, dry. In other words, I think this is a good one for, for a lot of people to enjoy. Um, if you don't like them real, real sweet, you can enjoy this. It's on the sweeter side. But if you don't like them um, bone dry or dry, then this is uh, good as well, but not candy sweet. Which, so th actually, this is nice. I'm trying to get the petrol taste. I'm trying. And I don't get it. And that's good. Because very few people like that. I can handle it in very, very small amounts, but if I start tasting plastic or too much of it, which some reasons will have, then I, I, I can't do that. Um, I don't know if you all can hear, I got a little uh, a koi pond over there, beautiful fish, and I hear a little um, a frog uh, croaking, I like it, I like the sound. <laughs> Alright, here, maybe do, maybe don't. I taste that, um, like somewhat like honey. A lot of people call it beeswax. I'll just say honey. And uh, it's got a lemony, but like a sweet lemon. It's got a little bit of tartness, which adds um, to the refreshing aspect of this. But it's almost like a uh, sweet lemonade. Uh, but not real, real sweet lemonade, but a, a lemonade uh, that you can taste the sour with the sweet. And uh, I like to pick out just the, the things that jump out at you right away. I don't want to sit here for half an hour trying to pick the stuff out and make it believe I taste moon rocks and all that bullshit in here. But uh, Yeah, so you got the honey. Like lemonade sweetened with honey is a good way to describe this. And I could see where a lot of people would pick out pear or apple or peach depending on your uh, your taste buds and what's, what hits you first. Uh, maybe even some melon. Um, so anyway, I like it, okay, needless to say, I don't um, see any faults in this one, anything that's bad, anything that, that would, I think would turn you all off. So anyway, um, Lighthouse Series, all right, Riesling, there's the back, um, I enjoyed it, I hope you all enjoyed this review, if you did. I try and do some nice laid-back reviews that tell you whether or not the wine has any flaws, if it tastes bad, if it's, I don't know, just uh, you listen to what I say and, and, and see if that fits with what you might want to try, alright? So from um, Hillbilly Wine 101, everybody, cheers. Subscribe if you haven't, please. Thank you.